Hey guys, Grosh Project All One here with another episode of Modern Minecraft Forge, and today I'm going to be showing you how to actually render your mob and give it a texture. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Um, okay. So, what we want to do is once we open up our client proxy, so if we go to um, our client proxy, and inside of register render things, we want to go rendering, rendering registry dot register NC rendering handler once we do the NC class which would be NC tut mob dot class then the renderer will set to new render NC tut mob or we'll just set it to render tut mob okay so I'm going to create the class render tut mob Inside of a new package, which will be a package the uh, com dot the grossmaster one dot uh, render. I'm going to hit finish, and I'm going to save that. And basically, what we want to do is we're not going to use this code here. Okay, what we're gonna, what we're going to use is I'm going to you want to go and open up build. Want to go into temp. You want to go into recomp source, go into net, go into client, go into renderer, and then go to render cow. Dot Java. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to hit control A, I'm going to copy all of this, and I'm going to paste it into top mob, and into the render top mob. Okay? The reason we use cow is because it's just a very simple render file which we can edit very easily to our needs. Okay. So we can close that now. And we're going to change all the NC cows to NC tut mob. And I'm going to change this to mob textures. Okay. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to add some textures to this. Okay. So, it's going to ask for two parameters, which we've already done, which is model base and a float. And the float, I never really, it doesn't really install, so I just always set it to zero. So I'm going to go, that's the first one, nc, tut, uh, not nc, we're going to go to model, bipod, or ped, dot class, um, new model bipod, sorry, what I meant to say. And then we're going to comma zero, okay, save, and should import, model bipod, and save it again, okay. Now it's going to ask us for a texture, so the resource location, okay? And uh, the model bipod is basically the same model as the player. So we can always edit this model later, so I can just, I, I'll show you a few examples now. So if we actually go to, uh, the way you're actually going to have to create your texture for this, uh, with model bipod that is, or with any other model like, uh, for that matter of fact, is you go to your MCP folder, so mine's in here, go into build, Go into temp, go into uh, recomp source, go to assets, Minecraft, textures, and then you've got everything you're going to need here. So I'm going to go to entity, and the way you make, um, so you've got all of these things, like you can change the model for whatever your need is, but our need is the Steve texture, okay, because that's the player model, Steve, that's what his name is. So we're going to open in paint.net, and then you can edit this to your heart's desire. Okay, so you just edit that to what you want. I made a very bad texture before, but it's still texture nonetheless. Okay, so I'm going to edit, and I've already placed this in my area, as you can see here, right, inside of NC. Okay, so mine would be in strings dot mod ID plus forward slash textures uh, NC and then tut mob dot png. Safe. Okay, so let's run this, shall we? Let's run the client. We play open the world, and you shall see we should have when we spawn our NC a mob that looks like not like that. <laughs> oh, bounty box isn't right. Okay. So we have to come run. All right, my bad. But it's four slash that needs to be a colon. That's what we've gone around, okay? So I'm going to point out another error now, once we actually load this up. 
Okay, so we're going to single player, open it up. But you should notice, if we actually spawn this tutorial mob... Let's look at your face. Okay, there we are. It looks all cool. He's animated and all that because he's, he's already uh, editing a model that's in there. So we can like, punch him and he'll like, run around. It's so a bit crazy. Okay, and it falls if we have like, a coal, iron, coal in our hand. Dude. This way. One bit of AI was probably the and that's probably the look at player. I, mean, I see if he's looking at us and he'll start to fall the thing, but if we go out of the view, it doesn't really like it. We have to be like facing him for him to like, like this goal. But anyway, you notice that if we actually try and punch his face, nothing's going to happen, okay? Reason being is because his set size is wrong. So if you go into our anti top mob and go to set size, um, this, is your, uh, this is his width and this is his height. So we can hit him within the space of a block, but he's about. 0.9 of a block, if I'm honest. And he's two blocks high. Oh, well, he's just under two blocks high, so about 0.9, I'd say, as well. 1.9, sorry. So run it again, and you shall see that we have a good, like, like, um, sort of bounding box from there, so we should be able to punch him in the face. And hopefully, not above his head, if we actually get up. Come on, stay still. Yeah, you see that? We've got his boundary box almost dead on. Okay. This is going to be crazy still. Okay, so yeah, that's how you add a custom model. And uh, how, how you add uh, your model to your mob, and also how you add his, like, texture. Okay. However, we're not just restricted to model bipod. Um, if we actually go into the uh, source folder again, you see we have many models, okay? So it's, it's loads of them, okay? You've got model gas, model sheep, you've got all those model pig. And all you need to do to actually use these models is you would edit this name, so we'll change this to model cow. In fact, we'll use model sheep, okay? Import that. And you want to take parameters, don't you? We don't, we'll, okay, we won't use sheep. We'll use model gas or model enderman. Model Snowman. So hopefully important, hopefully he doesn't require any parameters. Model Snowman there we are. Okay. So I can go to random mob. And we can change this to what we need it to be. So if we actually go to here and we change this to what have the uh, texture path is for snowman. So it's in here. So there's no extra folder. So it'll be snowman. But PNG, we can actually run this. Obviously, you have to change his bounty box as well. But um, yeah, okay. And you see, he's actually the model of a snowman. Perfect. All of a snowman. Okay. okay. Alright, guys, this has been the Goys Project 101. <clears throat> Showing you how to add a custom, uh, how to actually render your entity so it works a little bit less glitchy, anyway. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye, guys.